Welcome back to Hall County Connection. The final thing we want to cover today is something that's been sneaking up on us for a few years. That is the switch to 100% digital TV transmission happening on June 12, 2009. It was an extended date from the earlier February 17th deadline. This is being done to provide higher quality broadcast signals and to free up transmission bandwidth for other communications uses. Will you be ready? How do you know? If you have a cable TV service, what you do if you're watching me now, you won't be affected. If you have satellite service, you won't be affected. Owners of analog television sets who use rooftop antennas or rabbit ears to receive free over-the-air broadcasting will be stuck with a TV that doesn't work unless you do one of the following. Switch to cable or satellite service. Purchase a digital TV set. Buy a converter box. How do you tell if you have a TV set that is analog? If it's labeled NTSC or analog and doesn't have a digital tuner, that's one. Also, check with the manufacturer. Many have websites with information about which of their products are analog only. So, how to get a converter box? They are widely sold in electronic stores and elsewhere. The boxes cost between $40 and $70. However, for a limited time, the federal government is offering every household two $40 coupons for the purchase of two converter boxes. Coupons can be obtained on the web at dtv2009.gov or by calling 1-888-DTV-2009 or by mail at P.O. Box 2000, Portland, Oregon, 97208-2000. Also, analog sets should continue working with gaming consoles, VCRs, DVD players, and similar products that you use now. Again, if you're watching this broadcast, you don't need to do a thing. But you might want to relay this information to your friends and relatives who might be affected. Now for some information you can really use, let's turn back to Cindy Reed. Now hold it a minute, because I want to thank you for staying with me for the duration of this show. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Well, you're welcome, and I thank you for letting me talk so much about Keep How Beautiful today. You're welcome, too. You're sort of my co-host today. <laughs> I Do you love feel that. like the co-host? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great. Now, what we want to talk to, uh, to you about now is about the, the TVs, uh, the issue of the old TVs that folks might want to get rid of, the old analog TVs that maybe they don't want to get a converter box or what have you. Uh, what are their options? How, what, how, what, what can they do with their TVs? Right now, we're teaming up with Best Buy to promote their in-store recycling program. And residents can bring televisions up to 32 inches back to the store, along with other uh, electronics to be recycled. There is a charge for televisions, laptops, and computer monitors of $10, but you get a $10 Best Buy gift card in exchange for that. So that's a pretty good deal. And we will be offering other events throughout the year for people to bring their televisions to. So you encourage their recycling avenue for TVs? Yes, it's a wonderful way you can take it back, very convenient. You can take it back anytime the store is open. Now you mentioned a $10 cost for TVs and monitors. Uh, why is it a $10 cost? Because uh, televisions do contain small amounts of valuable material such as copper or gold, but there's bigger amounts of lead, mercury, chromium, that it takes more um, money to recycle those. And so there is a charge on that where other electronics such as VCRs or stereos could be recycled and actually make a little money off of. Can you go into more detail about the options coming down the road for folks that they might want to make note of? Do you have opportunities planned? We do. We have several in June, August, and November where uh, people can bring any of their electronics, including televisions over 32 inches, to our recycling events. And they'll be stationed probably around the Oakwood area, Flowery Branch, Gainesville. We'll be spreading those around to make it a little more convenient for the residents. That sounds great. So you're making it as convenient as possible. We're trying our best. Now, in addition to TVs, you mentioned other electronics that could be taken at those events. Can you list a few of those, highlight a few? Sure. Um, computers, printers, monitors, stereo equipment, VCRs, things like that. 
I really appreciate your being with me today. You've been a real trooper. It was my pleasure. Well, thanks for being here. Well, we've covered a lot in just a short time today. If you want more information on the Hall County Master Gardeners, you can go to their website, which is hcmgs.com. For Keep Hall Beautiful, Tree Replacement Fund, and the Spring Chicken Festival, you can go to the web at keephallbeautiful.org. Digital TV switch on the web at dtv2009.gov. And remember, for the latest in what's happening with your Hall County government and various county resources, log on to hallcounty.org. If you have any questions on today's program, please call me at 770-535-8284. Thanks to all our great guests for joining me today. For TV 18 and Hall County Connection, I'm Rick Foote. Thanks for watching. You're watching TV 18, the government channel for Gainesville and Hall County.